What's up, everybody? Welcome to this latest Funko News Brief. This Funko News Brief was recorded on the morning of May 13th, 2018. Before I get into the video, I definitely want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. And um, definitely want to also give my condolences to those of you who are no longer have your mother in your life, you know, because she may have passed on. And I, I have a lot of friends that have lost their mothers. I know that's a very tough thing to deal with. So trust me, um, you're definitely in my thoughts today. But uh, let me go ahead and get into this Funko News Brief here. So, of course, I want to start off with what is available now in the wild. And usually when I do my midweek video, that's pretty much where the majority of the figures have come out already for the week. But there was a lot that released um, throughout the week. So you see here that Funko actually had this listed as available now, the Deadpool vs. Cable movie moment. So even if you don't see it in your stores in your area yet, that to me implies that it should be out there very soon. And some of you may have actually found it already. I know people have definitely found the other um, Deadpool related figures, including Domino, Cable. And then remember also, I don't have them pictured here, but there's also Negasonic Teenage Warhead and Colossus out there also. And then the different variants of Deadpool, including the one in which he's posed like the um, Target exclusive Dr. Ian Malcolm. So um, yeah, I've seen a couple people picking that one up. So be on the lookout for these uh, Deadpool figures. Also, you see here Lock, Shock, and Barrel from A Nightmare Before Christmas. These have been hitting stores for, I think it's actually been a little over a week, but I just wanted to make sure I put that out there again. Same thing with um, Pennywise and Gutter. I know I mentioned this previously, but I just wanted to remind you again, if you happen to be you know, around Hot Topic or you catch this on their website, then you know, go ahead and put your order in. It does look pretty cool. And um, for those of you outside of the US and Canada, you can check with Pop Culture to see if they still have this in stock. Um, if it's not in stock right now, you know, check for a restock with Pop Culture. Um, also, you see here the King Aragorn from figure from Lord of the Rings, of course. This was going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, but of course, Toys R Us, you know, is going out of business right now. So this got moved over to Barnes & Noble. So you don't see the sticker here on the box, but yeah, this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. And then Vampire Bob from Stranger Things has started to hit GameStop stores. Some GameStops may not have it if, you know, if it, people didn't, you know, if it wasn't pre-ordered. But, you know, regardless, be on the lookout for that figure. And we're not done. There's still more available right now. Now, if you go to the Disney shop, if you go to their website, they do have a Dorbs 3-pack featuring Stitch and these two other characters that you see here. Um, at the time of this recording, this was still available. So, um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. If you are interested, again, just go to the Disney shop, their website. Uh, with the plushes here, you see these Rick and Morty plushes. And, of course, there are some Pickle Rick plushes as well that have been available for, like, at least uh, two weeks or so. But, yeah, the other Rick and Morty plushes are available now as well. And um, it's really just, you know, the four characters, but some of them have different expressions. Um, also here you see from Marvel, we have the Rock Candy figure of Valkyrie. And then from Marvel, I believe it's Marvel Future Fight, which is a game I'm not familiar with. But you see the characters they have here. They have Amadeus Cho as Hulk. And I really do think that's a really cool design. I like, um, you know, this look of Hulk with some armor on as well, which is kind of crazy. And then you also see her Sharon Carter as Captain America. So two pretty interesting figures they got going on there. Um, at the bottom here, there's these Marvelous figures. I think these have been out maybe for a while too, but I just feel like I haven't pointed them out previously. So I want to make sure that I um, share that they are available. Um, the Gossip Girl Pops have shown up as well. I'm not familiar with the series. So, you know, to me, they just look like kind of plain figures, but I, but that's because I don't know the characters though. I know there are a lot of Gossip Girl fans out there though. So definitely wanted to make sure I put that out there for you all. And then the uh, most recent Destiny figures are starting to show up as well. And that does include the GameStop exclusive Emperor Callus. And I do want to point out, and by the way, of course, I'm not sponsored by Hot Topic, but Hot Topic does have a lot of these figures available that I just went through, um, excluding, of course, you know, some of the exclusives. Now, something I've noticed on social media, of course, um, the uh, Target exclusive Black Panther Pop NT, this actually did go up last night. And, um, there are a lot of people uh, that are kind of stressing over this to the point that they're stressing people that share information. I've seen this going on on social media, and I just want to stress to people again that, you know, basically hounding somebody that provides information is not going to make something become available. You know, people that are sharing information like I am, we don't work for these stores. We do not control when things come into stock. So, you know, collectors, you got to do your own part. You have to check for restocks yourself. Don't just rely on somebody else. To me, 
that that's not really being a collector you know that's having trying to have somebody do the collecting for you so if you're going to be a collector you got to put in your share of the work as well so um I do believe that there probably will be some restocks with this. It's not 100% guaranteed, but I, like I said, keep on checking the website because with the other um, pop and tea combos that they did, they did get some restocks and you just had to be on your toes to catch them. So like I said, keep checking Target's website if you are interested in this. And you could just basically search Funko Black Panther and see what comes up. And just like I said, keep checking it. Be vigilant if you really are interested in this. So some random bits of information here. Figment, which has been a Epcot center, um, you know, a Epcot exclusive basically has now also shown up at Disney Springs. So if you're going to be in that area, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, also, Han Solo with Jacket, which is going to be a Walgreens exclusive in the U.S., has shown up at Smith's in the U.K., um, Hulk busting out of Hulk Buster is going to be exclusive to Monster Store in Mexico. And then Flock Chewbacca with goggles, of course, from the solo movie is going to be at MCM Comic Con in London. And it seems like most of the recent Target exclusives are going to be at that convention. So if you're able to make it to that convention, do keep that in mind. Now, some other random, uh, you know, Deadpool things that are on the way here. We see these pop tees first. We got the bad time Deadpool pop tee and then also the maximum effort one where he's basically the cowboy Deadpool as well. And then here to the right side, of course, you see these pocket pops. They have the, the Deadpool with the two swords and then also bad time Deadpool. And those are basically just going to be commons. You can find those in different stores. But then there is this Hot Topic exclusive bedtime Deadpool pocket pop, which should be out by the end of the month. Okay, so just be on the lookout for these if you are interested. I think this right here, this figure, this big boy figure is very cool. I know a lot of people have been frustrated that most of the ad icons, they go to the Funko shop and then they're very difficult to get your hands on. So I think it's pretty awesome that this big big boy figure is a common and you can check with the availability for, um, you know, pre-order with this with various stores. Like I said, it's a common. So check with stores, you know, pretty much the stores where you normally buy pops or the websites where you normally buy pops and see if they have it available. And like I said, there's a lot of websites, a lot of stores that are going to have this available. And it's great to me that it is a common. Now, they did do one previously, which was a convention exclusive. And um, the design difference, of course, you see, if you look there in the bottom right is the previous one. He was holding a bird on a tray I actually prefer the new one I, I like the new one a little bit more but um you know it may not be as true to the way that the character is often represented but still I really like the look of this new one and then uh, of course if you know your Funko history you know that this is one of the figures they started off with um, if I'm not mistaken it might be the very first figure that they actually did before they did their um, spastic plastic characters so yeah it's a pretty important figure you know in terms of uh, Funko history and like I said I'm really happy with the design I think this is a cool one and I am adding it to my collection Shohei Otani is a, you know, a baseball player that is very talented. He's talented as a pitcher and he's talented as a batter. So that why, that's why Funko is doing this two-pack of him. And I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen this before. I think the only other character I could think of that had two versions of himself and a two-pack is uh, Batman. <laughs> that's the only one that comes to my mind. But uh, yeah, because he is multi-talented in that way, that's why they have two versions of him within this two-pack. This is up for a summer release, and of course, there are a lot more MLB pops on the way. Now, this particular figure here, when I first saw it, I actually thought it was photoshopped and I kind of waited a moment to see if this is legit. But yes, it appears there is a red Dilophosaurus on the way, which will be a Target red card exclusive. So you do have to have a red card to be able to order this figure. And um, the red card seemed like it's, it's pretty simple to get into. As far as I know, they actually have a, a debit card version, which you just tie to your bank account, you know, which keeps things pretty simple. But, you know, that's completely up to you if you think it's worth it or not to sign up for this to be able to get these red card exclusives that Target has had going on. Uh, me personally, I still need to get the common Dilophosaurus and I'm not really collecting Jurassic Park, but I love the design of the common figure. And I kind of like this red one now too, especially knowing now that it is actually legit. So some Harry Potter figures are on the way. Of course, there's always more Harry Potter, Harry Potter figures on the way. And I'll do my best here with the pronunciation of this name, the six inch Basilic. You know, I hope I'm close with that name, but 
that design is very cool those eyes are almost mesmer mesmerizing it's something about them i really like the gold eyes on that um figure there which is a six inch figure like i said that's that's pretty cool and then the sepia tone um tom riddle as well these are target exclusives that are up for a july release now I actually saw these images before I did the last Funko News video and some people did point it out to me that they saw these but I want to put this out there for all of you that I try to make sure that I give you all the best possible images. It's about the figures. It's that That's what it's about. It's about the pop figures um, and there are some people that are very insecure and they want to slap you know their um, watermark all over the images and try to take credit for it. I, let, let's get this understood. I don't take credit. Um, for any of these figures these this is fun these are Funko's products you know when it comes down to it these are Funko's products I'm sharing Funko's information to help out collectors so for people that slap a watermark all across the image I think that's very selfish that that shows that they're not about community they're all about self-promotion and they're essentially taking credit for something that they didn't create you know like I said these are Funko's figures and I'm just sharing the information that I've never claimed that I'm the first person to get the information well, all I do is basically gather the information together for people that like to see it all at one time so that's all that I'm doing I'm not trying to take any more credit than that I put it all together for all you to see at one time and that's it and I really don't understand why some people are so insecure when um, most of the other people that share information related to Funko have way more followers than I do so like I said I don't understand that insecurity but I'm not going to share images that are basically ruined for you all. I want you all to have the best possible images so you can really see what these figures look like. And trust me, you're not going to miss out on anything because even when people do that, when they're selfish and they slap their watermark on something, the official images usually come out like a day or two later. So it's not a big deal. You know, um, I'm going to keep it about community. That's what I am about. Now, before I move on to this next slide, I do want to say that if you did sign up for a year of Disney treasures and you're waiting on the um, reward to come in or the gift to come in and you don't want to see it, this would be the time to tune out of the video. So this is the last time I'm going to say this and I'm not, you know, there's no spoiler screen up here, but I'm going to say it again. I will show you uh, what the reward is for those that signed up for a year of Disney treasures. So if you're waiting on that and you don't want to see it, please tune out of the video right now. Okay, so before I get to that reward, I do want to point out here that I actually saw this um, rumor a while back that there's going to be some Freddy Funko vinyl two packs. And uh, you see here in the bottom left, these do appear to be unpainted um, Freddy Funko vinyl figures. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I kind of got a feeling it might be two of the uh, same mold, but just with different paint jobs. But we'll see how that pans out once it does happen, you know, if it happens. Also, it appears that there is a summer Freddy Funko vinyl figure on the way. And this isn't vinyl as in V-Y-N-L. This is just a figure sort of similar to the way they did the, um, like the raincoat um, Freddy Funko. So this potentially is on the way as a SDCC um, slash summer exclusive. You know, we'll see what happens with that. Of course, the SDCC reveals are going to come out next month. Not the figures, but just the reveals of what's going to be available for SDCC. And then as far as Disney Treasures is, con is concerned, like I said, for people that signed up for a year, you see the gifts here to the right. So there is a trophy, which has kind of been a standard thing that they've been doing. And this one is of Steamboat Willie, which I think is pretty cool. And then along with that, um, people are also going to get a 10, which does include a mini Mickey Mouse figure as well. So I think that's a pretty nice gift. And if you didn't sign up for a year and you're interested in these items, I would say give it a while, you know, give it some days and check eBay because there are going to be some people that don't keep these and hopefully they will sell them at a fair price. So that is going to do it for this Funko News Brief. Um, I know this was very brief, not a ton of information, but of course I try my best to keep you all updated. I know some people get disappointed when, when it's a short video, but remember, I don't control the information. I just share it and I do my best to help you all out. But uh, yeah, like I said, I hope everybody got something out of this, you know, and um, I will talk to you all again real soon. You all take care of yourselves. And, um, you know, if you're fortunate enough to still have your mother in your life, please make sure you contact her, see how she's doing. Let her know that you care. Um, that's going to do it for now. You all take care of yourselves.